The Unified Grant Application, or UGA, is the NCDOT Integrated Mobility Division's platform for transit agencies, county governments, MPOs, and nonprofits to submit applications for the majority of the division's public transportation grants. In this quick training video, we'll cover how to access the UGA, navigate it, and use it to apply for public transportation grant funding. First, we'll go to the Connect NCDOT website by typing connect ncdot.gov into the browser of your choice. Next, click on Doing Business. Then click on Public Trans. On the Public Transportation homepage, under Unified Grant Application, click on the green Click Here button. Please note that this will open the UGA webpage in another tab. Lastly, click on Unified Grant Application of the current fiscal year to download the UGA guidance. Once you have downloaded and opened the PDF, you will see that the second page shows some information on how to use this guidance. UGA guidance consists of three parts. Part one, background and eligible applicants. Part two, eligible expenditures. And part three, application processes. This PDF document has interactive features to navigate through it. These buttons change color as you roll over them with your mouse. Use the navigation bar on the bottom to jump to each of the three parts, back to the introduction page, or to the previous or next page. You can click the Submit UGA Feedback button to open the UGA feedback form in a new window. Part one provides information about NCDOT's public transportation grant programs and funding goals. Part 1.1 states the IMD mission and goals and program authority. Part 1.2 shows eligible applicants in North Carolina. If you choose the organization type and then click an organization name, you will see which funding programs are eligible for that specific system. You can use additional information on the side and come back to the page you're working on if needed. Part 1.3 shows all funding programs available through UGA. You can click each button to see additional information on the program. Part 2 details what type of expenditures are eligible within each funding program. Part 2.1 provides a brief summary of Uniform Public Transportation Accounting System, or UPTAs, and G-codes that will be used to categorize types of expenditures. Part 2.2 shows eligible G-codes and any special notes applicable to each funding program. Part 3 provides an overview of the grant application process along with linked step-by-step -step guidance for applying to each funding program. Part 3.1 shows the overall program timeline for each of the 12 application steps. Phase 1, the pre-application, is typically due early June. And Phase 2, the application, is usually due early October. As shown in Part 3.2, the UGA consists of three phases. Pre-application phase, application phase, and contracting and compliance phase. Within each of these phases, there are specific steps that the applicant must complete. The details of these steps vary by funding program. To apply for each funding program, click on that program button in part 3.3 to be guided through the application. For additional guidance on each step, use resources and links on the bottom right corner. Part 3.4 shows UGA tools and resources that are available on the UGA website. If you click on the buttons, it will take you to the link where you can access them. If you have any questions, please contact your regional grant specialist. Thank you for your time.